Hello everyone, this is Stefan from Lush and Salty Aquariums. I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and a wonderful life. We're looking at my Fluval F-Series 15-gallon cube. It's a top-of-the-line kit from Fluval, and it's the first freshwater aquarium I set up here in my home in Lucas Valley in Marin County, in lovely Marin County. It's the first freshwater tank I set up after my reef, and it beget a whole bunch of other tanks, and ultimately this channel. <laughs> so there's a whip around my fish room and back to the Fluval F-Series. So this is a heavily, heavily planted tank. Forgive the interruptions. And forgive the reflections. We have a lovely afternoon outside in Marin County. Uh, but the light does play havoc on the glass of this tank. I'll move in closer to try and circumvent that. This kit from Fluval came with a really cool um, table to house it. With the lovely trim there. Click open and inside you see their 106 canister filter, which is a dream, and some storage. It looks really good in this house, in this office probably anywhere. Um, the one rub is this Nanolite has a kind of a stick -em way of attaching and I found that to be flawed. The light works great. And now for the important part, let's go inside. A long time ago I planted um, all the classics along with some driftwood. And it's grown incredibly well. There's Cryptocairn, my favorite plant of all. Several different varieties. There's one there. And there's the Parva variety down here. And then I have Tetras. There we go, no reflection. Neons, Ember Tetras. You saw an Autosynclus earlier. The Siamese algae eater is gigantic. There's no way I can get him out even though he's too big for this tank. And you see how the plants just have taken over. Now I trim these. There's my hatchet fish. I love these guys. They are jumpers and I lose about one a month. So there's that. Even though the tank has a lid, there's still a space and they still get out. You see some cherry shrimp. A really nifty piece of bogwood. That's a gold tetra there. Now the neat thing about gold tetras is when they're wild caught, they show a much golder color and the tank bread variety are more brass in color. Now down at the bottom, where is it? I have nearite snails, assassin snails, ram's horn snails, and quarry catfish pandas. There's a nearite right there. There's a ram's horn right there. Maybe an empty shell, the ram, uh, assassin snails, which our permanent part of this tank will feast. There's some catfish swimming by. Anyway, I call this my jungle tank for obvious reasons. And while the filter does a good job, excuse me for that, the plants do in my view, the best job. There's a great shot of an Amano shrimp. Big one. I love those little dots that you see along their side as they get older. 
I have about 15 uh, ember tetras, six neons, a few hatchet fish, and then all kinds of, uh, I, I don't have the count. There's a couple catfish right there. Some different Corydoras. You see them all in the back. Um, there's at least three species right there. Panda, laser, and pygmy. looking through the jungle of cryptocarin. That's why it's my favorite plant. It's not as big and fast growing as a veil, but it creates that same um, tropical effect. There's some neons coming into view. Such an underrated fish. I get, well, I should take that back. They've been so heavily rated and so popular that they've lost some of their magic. But I mean, for the, ah, and there he is, one of my five platinum betas. I had to put one in every possible tank and this one was no exception. Hey buddy, how are you? <laughs> he seems pretty happy. This one seems to have a little of the, uh, Placot strain in it. The fins aren't as long and flowy. So it has a more masculine appearance. He seems pretty happy though. And so that, for giving the reflections, is a look at my Fluval F-Series Planted Aquarium. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your day, week in life, and always keep your hands in the tank.